Hey, I'm Jake, and today we're going to nerd out about Chaturanga. Come on to your mat. You're going to stand straight forward, feet hips width apart, feet straight, and inhale. Reach your arms straight out in front of you. So you're in a standing plank pose. Okay, wrist straight across, just as if you were doing plank on the, the ground, on the floor. Okay, then exhale, you're going to bend your elbows for low plank. Okay, standing low plank, like chaturanga. Okay, and then go ahead and squeeze your elbows into your ribs. Squeeze them in. Okay, squeeze them in so much so, okay, you'll feel the shoulders, the, the head of your arm bones start to round forward. Okay, okay this is one of the most common misalignments in chaturanga, usually of no fault of anyone. Um, it's, it's commonly taught like this for, for the longest time. At least in the yoga I was practicing, it was always like, squeeze your elbows in, and I could squeeze so much so, okay, it looks kind of like computer, pose, or phone, all right, or biking, or you name it, sitting at the desk, okay, and then if you do this while you're weight bearing, it's really a double whammy for your shoulders, okay, it could be a real bummer, and you do this pose a lot, so you want to make sure you protect your shoulder and strengthen it. Okay, it could be really beneficial for the shoulder if you do it correctly. So well, here we go, we'll try it again. Standing plank, create a lift laterally through the sides of your body, shoulders even with the base of your neck. Okay, then exhale, bend your elbows for an air chaturanga. And now bring your elbows just far enough away from your ribs to keep the head of your arm bones setting back. Okay, this is your chaturanga. Now this position of the elbows away from the body could shift and will shift as you start to open up your, your chest and shoulders more, your back as you practice more yoga. Okay, you have an optimal blueprint, but you're never not doing construction to your, your blueprint, okay? So this, this would, be, would be a little bit different for everybody. You will want to bring your elbows towards your ribs more as your shoulders open, okay? But as, unless you're, you know, uh, a yoga prodigy, if you're coming to yoga the first time, or even the first few chaturangas of the day, okay, you're most definitely going to want to bring your elbows wider than your ribs, rather than squeezing them in. We'll do a weight bearing now, so come to plank, wrists under your shoulders, legs straight, plank shape, the whole way down, exhale, bend your elbows just far enough away from your ribs to keep the head of your arm bones plugged back. Okay, and keep that alignment with your shoulders, lower your pelvis, then you come into your cobra. Shoulders back the whole time. Okay. So we've dweebed out on chaturanga. Hopefully that helps and saves your shoulders some, some pain and uh, keeps them clear and strong. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm Jake. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.